uh, from 1947. Uh, we watched this on a YouTube channel called Unexplained Mysteries. And you guys can watch that on our YouTube channel. We, we recorded that. And, um, Which is pretty interesting in my it, It's, I, my mind was kind of blown. Very, because, like, it, it went across, like, a, how they phase or stop vibrating in a way in a frequency to where we don't understand to what we do understand, to where we can see them. Right. Just because of our dense atmosphere. That's the way it was explained. So that means they come from a planet, or a, uh, there was a dimension, yeah. correct? That has... it's, it's still a planet, though, but it's in the same space as our planet is what they described. It. Yeah. yeah. It's just uh, not our axis is the way I look at it. Right. We can't access yes. that area or location. All exactly. their planets align to allow them to come over. Our planets don't align that way. Well, maybe it might just be their technology. Uh, good point, good point. And they figured out the sound waves. We we might get to that point or they might allow us or they might have already taken things from our like for instance, we have a small theory about the flight three seventy. Uh Malaysian flight that got lost and that has videos of the orbs surrounding it and then it disappears. And That's a whole nother, I didn't think about that. It could have went there is what I was thinking about. See, I was thinking it was our government playing around trying to send people over there because there were certain people on that plane that had uh let's say Different ideas than some others. Oh. Yeah.